All right, so let's jump back over to the sequence here. Now, there are two styles or two types, I should say, of reporting and analytics within our platform. So one is geared definitely more towards uh, the actual end user. They care about the granular details of their content, their contacts, their tasks. So they're typically going to live within the sequences themselves. Now, having said that, again, we do have integrations to CRM. If that's your single source of truth, we can definitely uh, maintain that either through our native integrations or through Zapier or Make, our open API. So there's various ways to tie this to other systems. But for now, we'll focus on the analytics within a sequence. So pretty standard um, uh, or simple, and they're the, they're the same across the board, so quite easy to get acclimated. Your steps is everything you've built. It's all malleable. So at any point, you can go in and add some more split test to compare subject lines, your content, your call to action. You will be able to declare a winner under your stats and kill the underperforming templates as you declare winners to pull these underperforming ones out of circulation. Okay, and the system will always arbitrarily split your lists equally. You certainly don't have to pick and choose who gets which version. These intervals here between the, these steps are certainly adjustable based on your desired workflow. And in order to create an email thread, so if you want to make it look like you're just forwarding your last email with a new note, you simply leave it blank. If we don't have a subject line, the system will intuitively, intuitively thread it to the previous email that did include a subject line. OK, so please don't put subject lines and reference emails people can't see. I see that all too often. And then you can always uh, adjust by adding more steps at the end. Um, again, nothing is set in stone. It's all malleable. So we expect and recommend you're always tweaking things. 